Hey guys, what's happening? It's Abdallah, back again with another Let's Play. Zitz, Rash, and Pimple. You guys know who those guys are? In a rare production, I'll give you a hint. Licensed by Nintendo. Anything ringing a bell for you? Battletoads, yes. God, I love this game. 1993, were you guys even born yet? I don't know, but if you were, you guys know that Battletoads is synonymous with angry gaming and impossible levels and crazy stuff like that, but I'll get into that later. Let's, uh, let's read this. Northern Tibet, Asia. Also starring the evil Dark Queen, Scylla's Volkman, and Professor T. Bird. Special guest appearance by Scuzz. I think they did a little credit intro, just for fun. Alright, Ya Chung La Fortress. Okay. Can't make that any more complicated. There's Professor T. Bird. Toad, I've invited you here to witness the first demonstration of Psycom's new games generator. Trips 21, Total Reality Integrated Playing System. We've named it the Gamescape. This approaching image is a pig of the apocalypse, one of the games to... Before the professor can even finish, the pig leaps out of the screen. It grabs Michiko Tashoku, daughter of Psycho's head honcho. Zitz leaps to a rescue and takes a beastly bash and is captured too. With Michiko and Zitz, his prisoner, the evil pig escapes back into the Gamescape. Pay attention, battle jerks! I, Silas Volkmeyer, intend to turn your miserable world into my very own gamescape. The Dark Queen holds your feeble friends captive, and if you try anything, you'll never see them again. Ha 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 ha! you guys take a look at that guy? Man, he's got his brain on the outside, he's got his fingernails that are like a foot long. Anyway, let me tell you about this game. This game is hilarious. This game is funny. This game is just, it's brutal at some times, too. When I was younger, I grew up with this game. I was in elementary school when this game came out, and it was just really, really hard. I don't know what it was about it, but I, I just could never beat it. And so it was on the Super Nintendo, and, you know, I just never got a chance to beat it. <laughs> and then, like, I picked it up, like, a couple years ago, and I'm like, this game isn't that bad, come on. It must have been some sort of new back in the day. Anyway, so uh, let's get on with it. Um, it's a two-player game. Take a look at the screen right now. You've got Pimple, which is the guy in orange, and you got Rash, the guy in green. The difference between the two is Pimple is uh, he's pretty much the brawn of the operation. He's the guy that beats up everyone. He's the strong, he goes a little bit slower. Um, and Rash is, I guess, the cool guy. He's a little bit smaller. Um, but nonetheless, the main, the physical differences in the game are pretty much jumping distance. That's the only difference between these two. Um, Pimple jumps a little less far, and Rash jumps a lot farther, so in order to, you know, with life and death scenario in the tie, you want to pick Rash. The only way that you can actually pick these characters is what Super Nintendo controller port you're in. So if you're in Player 1, you're going to be Pimple. If you're in Player 2, you're going to be Rash. Also, the main difference is, is you can see A and B. Um, two players A and two players B, the difference is one of them, you can hit each other, attack each other, and the other one is um, where you can't hit each other, so more of a co-op rather than a versus. But anyway, let's jump right into it. We gotta get him back. Let's get crash the gamescape and cook some beast and bacon, baby. Alright, this game is awesome. We'll go through the first level. Um, anyway, so this is basic movement. You can move around on the 2D plane here. Um, you got piggies that are just trying to hit you. Um, what you can do is you can either press um, attack or jump, as you can see I'm doing jumps. Mm, you can attack them. Bam! Oh, yeah. So, you can do a pretty much a standstill attack, which is Rash's kick. You can do a jump kick, as you saw earlier. Um, you can do a tackle attack. Um, in order to tackle, you need to double tap forward to run. Um, and once you double tap forward, as you're in the running animation, if you press attack, you'll do the tackle attack. And then there's one more attack in the event one of your enemies is on the ground. You can do like a sweep or a ground attack. But anyway, we'll see that. 
see that coming up. So whenever you're about to deliver a final blow, uh, like let's say their HP is pretty much dead, one of your appendages turns into something awesome. So as you saw earlier, I did a spike boot. Um, I just did a huge hand, like a big karate chop. Uh, let's see if I can do the sweep again. Yeah, it turned into a mace and sweeps. Anyway, also, if you stand in between pigs, you can do a little double animation there, which is pretty good for this part. Man, big foot. Nice axe. Okay. <laughs> you can go up here and let them walk him up. <laughs> like, hey, where'd he go? I kind of think he's up here. What about you? Oh, God. <laughs> I fell off. Uh, you can't hit more than one pig at, the at a time with your animation, so you got to watch out. While you're attacking them, you're easily susceptible to getting hit. And they can hit each other, too, which is kind of funny. Yeah! You can also pick them up, too, if you want. But watch out, because their belly bump might hit you instead of the pig. Oh yeah, got him. Good teamwork. Thanks, buddy. You can join my team. Not. Uh, this blue skeleton's got a little more HP. Uh, uh, oh my god, wow. Oh uh, god. Why are we doing this guy? Alright, let's get him out of here. Anyway, with this tree part, <laughs> that's a little trick that I came up with over the years. Um, the fireballs are programmed to go wherever you're pressing. So if you're just, you know, walking around up front, it's gonna hit you because you're intended to go somewhere. So if you stand behind this tree and keep on holding down, it'll think you're going down and constantly just throw a fireball in one spot. Kind of a glitch, but see you, buddy. <laughs> but nonetheless. All right, in here. Uh, give me that pig. Oh. See ya! Oh no! I missed. <laughs> Someone's gonna throw them off. Alright, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> throw them. <laughs> just in case you don't waste your time, just pick them up and throw them. Oh! Okay, you can just jump kick these guys off. And what's great about the jump kick is that automatically knocks them to the ground. Whoa! Oh, look at that flying pig. Whoa, when pigs fly? What is this guy doing? Oh my! <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Taking too much health away. Whoa, the black one. Oh, smushed me. I got one more health bar left. I cannot get hit. Anyway, what you can do, as you saw what I did right there, if, if any enemy is knocked to the ground, if you double tap them like you're going to uh, do a tackle attack, while they're on the ground, you'll automatically kill them with your ground enemy. Very awesome. So you can literally kill someone with two hits like that. Well, one, two. See? Even though the big pigs are, and the black pigs have a lot more health, you can automatically kill them. Bam, like a pro. Who's this guy? I saw you from a mile away, buddy. There we go. Done. Well, I got one more health bar left. All you can do is stand right here, kill these guys, knock them into the lava like little punks. All right, here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, sorry. Didn't mean to scream there. So I lost one life in the level. That sucks. But nonetheless, this is one of those things where the programming thinks you're moving forward, so it's going to anticipate the movement. Run towards a statue all day. A statue of the Dark Queen. That's done. Be careful. You want to move all the way down here. Man, I have all these levels memorized from way back in the day. Oh! Oh, God. Come here. You know what, pig? What? See ya. No mercy. Give me that black pig. Give me this guy. Any last words, piggy? None? All right. See ya. What? <laughs> all right. All right. Here we go. To avenge that big black piggy's death. We have Stone Pig! Alright, now with Stone Pig, you gotta watch out, because he, he will instantly kill one of your lives if he lands on you. You can see the shadows on the bottom there. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, just make sure you're all the way at the end of the screen. Just bust out your, uh, 
your high power animations. Chop my butt. Anyway, keep going. And what's really awesome is that if you're playing with two players, one person's on the left side of the screen, one person's on the other side of the screen, you guys can uh, play volleyball with the pig and just instantly eliminate them. Anyway, here's the Dark Queen. Welcome. You know, Battle Barf, they say trees are environmentally friendly. Bad news for you, because ours definitely isn't. And you'll find out why. My sensors indicate that this whole tree is hollow, so head for the bottom and don't look down. Alright. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Um, that'll be the first part of Battle Toads Level 1. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I know uh, it's kind of fun to see, and in case you're never um, you're never well versed in the Battle Toads series, it's a great introduction to it. The games are priceless, let me tell you. They haven't made a new one since, I don't know, Super Nintendo? I don't think they even made one for N64. You know, there are rumors that it was coming out for the Wii and everything like that, but it never happened. So let me know what you think about the game in the comment section below, and stay tuned for part two. Talk to you guys later.